Well, a little bit more digging into things, and I found, uh, yeah, these fenders, or not fenders, quarter panels have definitely uh, had some work done to them. Um, if you look down here, I get some light in, and you can actually see somebody riveted on. These are pop rivets, poking through. Somebody riveted on the patch panel back there, and then did whatever filler they needed to do over top of it, because the whole bottom of the quarters were rusted out. Um, and the funny thing is, they're rusted out again. So, whoever patched it did one hell of a crappy job. But, uh, I got that going on on both sides. So I got the, you can see the rivets there now that I got some light in here. And you see some rivets on this side as well. You know, not as many rivets on this side, so not sure... <laughs> what they did <laughs> I really don't know but the grinder will tell me I got a pop rivet right here oh that's not even a pop rivet that's oh that's ugly that's not a rivet that is Bondo squirted through as they squish something on oh that's Bondo that's not a rivet on this side the other side's got some uh, pop rivets and they're definitely pop rivets this side I assume they were until I, you just saw me pick at it um, but it looked like the, there's a patch right here that follows this curve in the, right behind the wheel well. Um, I'll get the grinder out and grind into that and see what's going on. I've been just kind of rubbing my hand across things and popping the paint off. See if I can come up with any more rust spots. Um, <laughs> whatever's going on, this cardboard is literally stuck to the paint. I'm not sure what <laughs> when this thing was painted uh, obviously it was before I bought it but you know they actually had a cardboard box I guess they threw in here and it stuck to the paint and this I noticed this when I started doing research and I saw in the previous video I mentioned that the gas tank was dented and I wasn't sure what else I'd find so then I came out here with a closer look and it looks like this is somewhat in good shape. I mean, obviously, it's not crinkled like it got uh, crushed in an accident. Except for, actually, no. Uh, let me rephrase that. Now that I'm down on this angle, that's buckled right there, and that's what caused this rust. This actually got pinched up in an accident and probably broke whatever uh, retention the paint was holding in and started causing some of this rust. Look at this. I, I don't even need sandpaper to take this stuff off. Hey guys, don't try this at home. I got some rough fingers. But uh, you're going to end up cutting yourselves up swinging at uh, rusty metal like this. Um, yeah. I think I'd, I got a good little bang in the back of this thing at some point. Yeah, it's a little 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 bit of a buckle there. Somebody had to bend some metal around. You can see that they were playing with it. This this bottom panel's got some dents that were pulled. Yeah, so this this thing had an accident. This they didn't replace it though, which is interesting. It looks like they replaced the tail panel. But this uh back support here. They just bent it back into shape. Not a great job either. Let's see if I can get this flat light on here a little better. So that's definitely bent out of shape. Everything's bent out of shape down here. It's bent out of shape over here. Sitting in my own light again. But you know what? They sell those parts, which means I will replace those parts. I'm not that worried about it. But that would explain why my bumper and those previous videos I had asking why the bumper seems like it wasn't fitting right. Well, if that's what bolts the bumper on right there and all this stuff is bent out of shape, that's why my bumper wasn't fitting right. All right, to continue looking at this uh, trunk panel patch, or what might have happened with this accident. I climbed underneath and all I can, I, I don't even have words. I, I, I don't even 
know what this is. This is, um, seems too flexible to be metal. And it, it's got fabric looking thing. I think they literally duct taped. That looks like duct tape. Hold on, let me see if I can rip that. I think this car was duct taped together. Literally. I... <laughs> that is crazy. And look, I can look from the outside and through the wheel well. Look at that. Oh, man, this is just... And this is the side that they actually had rivets on. Look at this. That is almost three-eighths thick of what's some sort, some sort of compound. I have no clue. I'm going to have to edit that out. That is just ridiculous. This is some sheet metal, so it's still rusted. That's some different sheet metal. Uh, at least, you know, the grommet is not in, you know, but the wires aren't chafed off for the uh, reverse lights. We got some rust up here. Looks like the frame rail is not bent or buckled though. And I'm sorry if this comes out with you guys upside down or whatnot. I, I'm trying to figure out with a phone camera. I don't have my uh, normal video camera that I'm using for my older videos. I really, uh, I lost it. I'm not sure where. It's probably somewhere in the pile of stuff in the tr in the garage here that I started moving around. But, you know, aside from some rust and paint and stuff flaking off of it, it's not bent up. There, it still has spot welds in it. So I don't think that this thing got tweaked with this at rear accident. I think just that area up there that I showed from the inside got buckled a little bit. I mean, even this this flange that that the uh, gas tank sitting on looks straight. Oh, I'm not even showing that on the video. So that's that's what I'm seeing on this side. But I crawled under here and saw this and couldn't stop laughing for like a good two minutes until I pulled my camera out. Um, when I said they did a crappy job here, you know, <laughs> from the back, I, sh I showed this picture. I did not expect this when I got Let's under see what's here. on this side. Uh, let's bring those lights around. Oh, not as bad. Not as bad at all. I mean, you got some rust, and that's to be expected. The shape of the fender's right. So it's not... If it's a repop fender, they did a decent job, or they did something else. What is this patch out here? What is this all about? It's like bubbled up and popping off sure what that's all about yeah this side's got some of that flaking paint and everything else whatever the undercoating was is flaking off hey look at that decent shocks back there I should show that to my son they're Gabriel shocks and that's his name that is just incredibly I, I can't do anything but laugh that is hysterically funny um, who, who repairs a car with duct tape? <laughs> well, I answered that question. I bought it from a high school kid. That's what happens.